Well, hello everybody, it's Johnny from Eurogamer here, and this is Sea of Thieves, as if you even needed telling, because this is one of my favourite games at the moment, has been for quite a long time, and I thought to myself, it's a week before E3, flying out in just a couple of days, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an exciting time, it can be a slightly stressful time, so what better way to prepare for a trip across the seas to America than to take a trip across the sea of thieves and do some relaxing fishing. So, um, yeah, I figured let's, let's grab some bait, like these earthworms here, um, head out, try and catch some exotic fish, and just sort of see what happens. Because, um, well, E for an Ian aren't around to stop me today. So, anyway, I'm just going to keep searching these barrels. I'm actually full of bait, so I need to put these back on the ship. Oh, which looks very plain right now. So, let's just customise this a bit. We'll stick on... That little lot. There we go. That's a bit more festive. If you would like to see my pirate, I'll make him do a small dance. Slightly muted clothing, but you know, I thought he's very me. Big beard. Uh, sort of a smashed jug on his peg leg there. So yeah, anyway. Um, as you probably know, fishing recently got added as part of the Sea of Thieves anniversary update, along with some story content, which I know outside Xbox has started doing recently, if you want to check out their channel and see them uh, chasing the Shroud Breaker, for example, then you should jolly well do that. But I just uh, fancy a chiller time today, at least for the, the beginning. Just gonna stash this stuff. Oops. Oh, that's my cat. Hi, loons. Stash the bait and the food. And then, oh yeah, cannonballs are up here. And then we'll just go fishing. I've exterminated all of the lanterns, because I'm not an idiot. Um, doesn't really matter in the daytime, but once night falls, if you've got lanterns lit on your ship in Sea of Thieves, other players can see you from a country mile away. Alright, so we're fairly well loaded up with bait now, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you just how fishing works in Sea of Thieves, and then I reckon we should head straight for that storm, because I've got some leeches and you can use those to catch a very special kind of fish that only shows up in storms. But obviously storms are quite dangerous. So we'll catch a fish first. And then uh, we'll go from there. See? It's a nice chill time. It's chilling out on the sea while a cat screams behind me. A storm rages. In the distance. Hello. This looks like a big one. Okay. So, I mean, it's a fishing game. You almost certainly know what it's supposed to be doing. Tilting the rod away from the direction the fish is travelling in. You can reel it in, but that puts a lot of strain on your line, so it's better to wait until the line oops, goes slack. And then you start reeling. One of the things I really love about Sea of Thieves is the audio. And just the fact you can tell from listening how much strain the rod is under. Because you, you can keep reeling while the fish is fighting. But if you push it too hard, the sound of the rod threatening to break is just really illuminating. Come on. Here we go. Get on board my ship. doesn't normally take this long, but this one's a trophy sized, so it's bigger, which means it's worth more, which is good. And it means, come on, don't lose it now. It takes longer to catch. There we go. Look at that! 
she's a whopper. Oh crap. I'm full of food, so let's just eat a banana. And then we can pick that up. Delightful. Now, I could eat that fish right now, but it would make me sick because it's raw. I'm just going to push an entire coconut into my face instead. But what you can do is take your fish here and cook it. And it sounds amazing while you do. Anyway, while we're doing that, where are we? Ah, we're in the wilds, which... Let me see if I remember this correctly. There are certain types of bait you can use to get certain types of fish in certain areas of the map. I just need to remember which is which. In the wilds, I think it's earthworms? To catch, I think it's a wind splash. Which is just a different type of fish. This is a splash tail. You can catch these absolutely anywhere. So normally if I see them go for my line, I'm like, meh, I'll bring it back in. I won't bother catching it. But because this one's bigger and I was showing you sort of how it works, then um, it was worth showing off. So I'll tell you what, I'll cook this thing. And I'll try and catch a wild splash just for fun. And then where's that storm gone? So the trick to seeing the fish cook is, again, this is taking longer because it's a bigger one, but the colour starts to leach out and they start to go brownish. But it's not fully cooked until its eye is completely white. And that is a cooked fish. So I can eat that or I can go sell it. And should we try and catch a wild slush? Nah, sod it. Let's just go and catch ourselves a stormfish. So we're just going to set sail. God, it's been ages since I played Sea of Thieves on the channel. Well, not really. Played the arena, I guess. And away we go. Sailing into the wind, which isn't ideal. In fact, I might bring us over and I'll tack the sail the other way. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be better. Lovely. So, the thing about storms is they can damage your ship. And that's not normally a problem. You just run downstairs, get a bucket out, scoop up the water, throw it away. And then you can use planks to nail up any holes. Only thing is, doing this alone, if you've got a fish on the line and you want to catch it and there's a hole in the ship, well, you've either got to let the, the fish go or just got to wait, catch it, and hope that your ship survives by the end. Just realise there's not a flag on the pole. Do we have time to do this? Probably. Well, this is risky. There we go. Tell you what. Should we stick an alliance flag up? Yeah, we'll do that for now, just in case we run into others. We can team up with them and share in our plunder. Right into the storm. In fact, I should go left. Sorry, port. The last time I came fishing solo on a sloop, I caught an absolutely massive stormfish, but I did lose my ship in the process, which isn't the best way of doing things, but I did at least manage to keep the fish when the ship went down, so that was fine. Hello, who's that? That is a skeleton ship, which is AI controlled. So the chances that they're going to come from me or from that distance away are slim, so we're good. We can just go fishing in a storm. How 
arm's getting harder to use. Compass is starting to go spare. The bell is starting to ring of its own volition. This is that's what I call being very much in the heart of the storm. I'll try and get a bit further in just because the edge is there. And we're going to drop the anchor to go fishing. Come on. Oh, I think that's a sea post. That's great. That's where you can tell the fish. Right, sod it. Let's drop the anchor. And let's get to fishing. Ah! Okay, so I just got hit by lightning. Good. Tremendous. Stick some leeches on and cast. See what we get. It just occurred to me, I think there's a wreck here as well, so we might end up getting a wrecker, which is a type of fish that can only be found, wait for it, at shipwrecks. But we'll see what we get. Oh, this jaunty banjo music starts up. And what we're listening out for is the faint sound of a splintery wooden explosion. Because that, that looks like a splash tail to me. Piss off. Not for you. Uh, the splintery wooden explosion is the sound of a hole being punched in our ship. Which would be decidedly bad. And I normally but you can't really check to see whether the ship's riding low in the water because that's as much as I can turn my head. There we go, that's a stormfish. Damn it. Right. Now we just have to hope we don't spring a leak before I can land this sucker. it's quite self-indulgent to make a video of this on Eurogamer, but at the same time I am having a lovely time during quite a stressful week, so hopefully you're enjoying this good fishing trip as well. I mean, the weather could be better, but then we did aim directly for it, I guess, so... Come on, tie yourself out. There we go. Hopefully this will do it. Yeah! And that, not the biggest one, but that is a wild stormfish. Stick that away. We've got one more set of leeches. We should be able to catch a stormfish before the storm passes overhead because we're sort of reaching the end of it. Fingers crossed, anyway. Aha! That was the bad noise. Yeah. Maybe we just got hit by lightning again. I don't see any holes. Fine. Alright. Back to fishing we go. Oh. There we go. Lovely. What's that? No. Nope. That's no stormfish, so we're not going to catch that one. You know what? I'm just going to double check and see if this is a proper shipwreck. I think it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, you know what? Wreck of the Devil's Rage. Let's see if there's actually anything on it. 
I suspect there won't be, because normally you see seagulls overhead when there's plunder to be had. Although that said, it's often worth oops, checking the barrels for stuff. Planks. Uh, I can't carry any more of that stuff. Aha! Booty! This is a villainous bounty skull. It's worth a fair bit of money. Let's just surface before we drown. Let go of the skull so we can swim a bit quicker. <gasps> and then it floats to the surface. So if there's one thing I know about skulls, it's that they float. Delightful. You never know what you might find on a shipping expedition, eh? So I've had an idea. Let's finish diving this wreck. And since we're at a wreck, let's just hide this. There. In case anyone comes on board, comes looking for it. We'll finish diving for this wreck. And then since we're at a wreck, and we've got the right bait to catch a wrecker, which is the, sh the special fish you get here, we'll, um, we'll do a bit of that. But in order to spice things up a bit, because, you know, spice is a spice of life and all that, I thought I'd fly the Reaper's Mark, which is a special flag, basically for show-offs in Sea of Thieves. It's the one that alerts everyone to your presence on the map. Um, Ooh, more leeches, great. Yeah, more bait and a beach ball. A uh, peace ball, rather. Um, basically, it means that if I put this flag up, people will probably come looking and start a fight. And that might be fun. If we don't drown before we reach the surface, that is. Uh-oh. What was that? No, I don't need a wooden plank. Put your bloody leeches away. And we're fine. That is a sea post. Wonderful. We can sell our fish. Okay. So we're at a wreck. Let's get the fishing run out. Let's get rid of the leeches because we've already caught a. Yep. Eight earthworms. Let's catch ourselves. A wrecker. Bloody hell, that went a bit far. Rail that in a while. There we go. Let's see what we get. There we go, that looks like one. So basically the angler fish of Sea of Thieves. I have to say, since they added fishing, the productivity of the crew I normally sail with in Sea of Thieves has dipped considerably. So I sail with a couple of friends, uh, one called John, one called Adam, and um, we've all gone a bit fishing mad, but it means that typically when people might be trimming the sails or, I don't know, fixing the ship or whatever, basically they're fishing off the side of the ship no matter where we go. So it's like, oh, we've got a hole, can somebody? They're like, no, got a fish on the line, can't be asked. So, we've had some lovely relaxing times fishing in Sea of Thieves since the anniversary update. But, it's also caused one or two minor disagreements. I'll put it that way. To be honest, I'm probably as guilty of it as anyone else, but... There we go. Damn it. Full of food again. I do need to eat, to be fair. Let's have a banana. Not gonna eat a raw fish, we'll have a coconut as well. And then we'll pick up the rose wrecker. Delightful. Tell you what, while the rest of the storm sort of disappears. I'm gonna put the Reaper's mark up now. And then the challenge is can I cook and sell all of these fish before somebody comes and tries to kill me? 
let's find out. The location of a ship bearing this flag will be known to all, so we're not offering an alliance anymore. We're telling people to bring it on. Danger fishing slash cooking. Right. Start with the smaller fish first, because they cook a bit quicker. Oh no, we don't have any trophy ones to cook, do we? That's just a bigger fish. Oh, no, that's still another skeleton ship. Oh no, that isn't a seaport, is it? That's a fort. Daft. Let's check on the fish. It's fine for now. Where's the nearest seaport? Isle of Last Words. Three paces east seapost. That is our destination. And our fish is about cooked. Not gonna cook a coconut. That's already cooked. Wild stonefish. There we go. any other sales now that we've advertised our presence. That's what everyone will see now on the map. They'll see the ship and that I'm flying the Reaper's Mark. And it probably spells trouble. So you quite often see people with them. Because sometimes you get rewards for doing a mission with that flag active. But more often than not we'll see it and be like, oh yeah, they think they're hard, do they? Let's go teach them a thing or two. So, we're definitely playing with fire here. He says, cooking a fish. We just need to head east. To be honest, we'll probably be able to sell all this stuff before anyone comes to try and kill us, especially since we're heading out of the storm. So let's get the anchor up. Turning circle. I'll slam them back down. Fantastic. Let's trim the sails again. See, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you'll know that this game. I mean, okay, so Chris and Aoife and Ian didn't exactly like it. But okay, in fact, they, they sort of hated it. But um, I swear it's because we just never got the hang of sailing as a decent unit together, you know? Like, once you got the hang of things, suddenly sailing, it isn't just like a... I think the thing that intimidates people, rather, is that... In order to sail somewhere, it's like, but you've got to put the sails down. You've got to make sure they're trimmed into the wind. You've got to raise the anchor. You've got to do this and that. And yeah, that is quite a lot, and it is very overwhelming for new players. But at the same time, once you're doing it as a well-oiled machine, it's frankly exhilarating. So, I don't know. Part of me will always be sad that they never really got into it. Also, part of me is quite worried the skeleton ship's going to have a go at us if we get too close. So I'm going to pull us over to one side. Or we could try and take it on. I suppose we've got absolutely nothing to lose, really. Because all of the fish that we've caught are on me. Yeah, why not? Sod it. I am going to get... Oops. Where have I put them? Now we're going to load a peace ball 
which, when we hit the other ship, will render all of their cannons useless for a short time. And hopefully we can pepper them and put a bunch of holes in them. Just gotta wait for it. Hope I don't miss. Now. See, all their cannons are straight up in the air. Ah, missed. Oh, we're at the sea post at least, but that's not what we want right now. What we want... I'm going to... Right. So, what I've just done there, mechanically, I have locked the helm over to one side. I've raised the... Oh, shh, that's going to be bad. That is bad. I don't know what they hit us with. That's a barrel ball. No! They've stolen things from our barrels. That is possibly the worst one. Rubbish. Okay, maybe a bit off more than I could chew, taking on an entire pirate ship, skeleton ship rather, just by myself. But what I was trying to explain was that I was just trying to put the ship in a circle so I didn't have to worry too much about steering. But really, what it seems like I'm doing is just hanging out well within their cannon range. So what I want to do going to hit. No? Okay. Right, this is good, this is better. If I can get over there, especially if I can ram them. If you get close enough to a skelly ship, they don't use their cannons and you can just hammer them to your heart's content. We're going to get a broadside now though. Oh! No, we're okay. Right, this is what we want. This is what we want. Come on. Cannonball. Steer. Steer properly. Okay, good. So I'm going to keep us hard over. sail ball, but nah, it's not worth it. One last one. Shot. Okay. And then back onto the helm to, do, oh, to do it all again. So we've given them quite a few knocks. We're alright, we don't have any holes. Straighten up. Wind's full in our sails. Get a bit more sail on. Let's get that ballast. Ah, ballast ball! Brilliant! Try and bring us up alongside them again. So, a ballast ball makes them ride lower in the water. So, if I can put ballast ball in there, and they'll start taking on water at a much, much faster rate. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, load it, load it, load it, load it. Come on, come on. Oh, they're turning. Oh, this is excruciating. Okay, now. Right, you see that? They're riding lower in the water. Which means... Damn. Why am I moving so slow? There we go, that's better. Let me straighten up a little bit. Uh oh. I think that's hold us. But sod it. Yeah, there's a hole, very small one, in the front of our ship. Oh, I sort of regret putting the Reaper's mark up now. I, uh, 
Uh oh. Okay, that's not great. That's another barrel ball. That's just a straight cannonball. This is the thing, it's a much bigger ship. So when we're. Uh, that's real bad. I'm not going to eat that knife. Oh, that's real bad. And I think they just hit our captain and dropped our anchor. So we are now sitting ducks. win this. Ow. This is real bad. If I die now, it's all over. Right. Get some water out. Oh, we're still taking on water, are we? Ah, holes here. You know what? I'll leave those for now. I can't use my barrels. Oh, that's what a barrel ball does. I thought it stole them. Oh, shh. Yeah. Okay, so I've got to heal. A heal? I've got to fix my capstan. Just hope the ship doesn't sink. Because I really need to raise... Oh, no. It's alright, man. It's just down. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to have to eat the fish. Oh. My prize fish! They're gonna pay for that. Oh, that's bad. You can hear us taking on quite a bit of water. But, we're on the way. That's a lot of water. Oh no. That's a lot. Okay, but all of. Oh my goodness. Um, it might all be over at this point. No! <laughs> My beautiful ship! No! Stop putting holes in it! That's it. I reckon. Right. The ship's buggered. That's going down. And I want to see... I mean, we've got nothing to lose at this point. Let's just... board this galley ship. See if they've got a powder barrel below decks. Because if there is one, we can do them a lot of... Oh, look how much damage they've taken. Oh, sod it. Yeah. We put up a good fight. No one can say that we didn't. Take the flame from the Well of Souls. Just gonna wait on the Ferry of the Damned until we can come back. <sighs> it was all going so well until it suddenly really, really wasn't. Right. There's our brand new ship. Oh, there's a rowboat though. That's kind of useful. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that'll be a message in a bottle. Which we don't really need, so we'll set that up. Or just push the rowboat some more, sure, why not? Get on the oars. Oops, wrong way. What have we learned today then? We've learned if you're going fishing, maybe don't start a fight with skeletons. Um, if you do f start a fight with skeletons, make sure you've got a friend to help 
rather than just doing it solo. Um, we've learned uh, leeches are good for catching stormfish. Let's go to the wild treasures store. Is that the nearest one? Yeah. Let's just sail to the east and sell the fish. Basically, we've learned not to bite off more than we can chew. He said, still running the Reaper's Mark, but you know, it's fine. Let's trim that over. Helm. Do a little bit of uh, fishing on the go. I think I've got time to catch a fish before we crash into anything. Here we go. See, this is relaxing. Maybe I should have stuck to this rather than fighting a bunch of skeletons, but oh well. to me like a sunny splash tail which isn't worth loads especially not as much as the, uh, the one I ate to stay alive but hey a fish is a fish oh is it oh, I don't know actually I don't know what I've got I think there's a wild splash You know what, maybe it's a good thing the others didn't get into Sea of Thieves, because using a rod and gripping it firmly to catch a wild splash is not something I would trust Ian to do with any degree of maturity. What are you, little guy? Oh, an amber plenty fin. Oh, and there's another wreck. Do you want to go wreck diving? There's probably treasure there. Probably. Is there an outpost on the way? Nah, let's leave it. Oh, but there's... Mmm, I do like treasure. Sod it. Damn my weak treasure-loving bones. Right, let's get a bit of air. The blessing of Athena. Clearly Athena got fed up with the crew of this ship, because it is in a bad way. Come on. Oh, shit. Just want... Hello. <laughs> Just like some air, please. Fine. Oops. Right, let's dive. chest. Not worth loads, but still, and then a kick in the teeth. Slightly sad I lost that villainous bounty skull when the ship sank, but oh well. Press X to let that go. Where's it gone? Should rise to the surface. There it is. Snake meat. I'm sure that'll still be absolutely fine to eat. Just chuck the rest of this deck. That looks like 
Let's go. It's only a foul one, so not really worth much, but you know. It'll do. There's the ship. Uh, why didn't I bring the rowboat? That was stupid. Oh well. Ship. Quick check for enemy vessels. I think we're still fine. Stash that there. Is that out of sight? Not really. But oh well. Very important consideration when you're dropping loot on board your ship in Sea of Thieves is whether an enemy pirate would see it. Um, immediately on coming aboard. And there are a couple of good hiding spots on the larger vessels. I'm not going to share them because, you know, never reveal your secrets and all that. But uh, on a sloop, there's not really much much space to hide, so sort of do the best with what you can. There was one time when I was uh, with a friend, we got overrun by some others, and I saw them run onto our ship and search it, and we had so much loot, and they just didn't find any of it, and they left again. Which was pretty great. Uh oh, a lantern. Okay. I mean, I don't know why I'm extinguishing them now, to be honest, because we are literally advertising our location with the flag, but. Old habits die hard, I guess. So if memory serves, we actually want to be going to the southeast. I think it's that uh, sea post there, just visible over the horizon, maybe. Let's try that course heading. Uh, well. I can see why Sea of Thieves isn't for everyone. Like, it does take a while to get places and stuff like that, but that's kind of what I like about it. And it's just a good good way of generating stories as well, you know? Like, hey, we went fishing, and we, we tried to catch a fish, and we did, and then we got cocky, and then hubris. To be honest, I was half expecting the Megalodon to show up or something during this uh, playthrough. I'd never say never or anything, but... So we'll just skirt around this island. We should find the sea post. Basically, of course. Should be able to see. There it is. Let's wait for this. There we go. That little island there with the little post. Is that a fort? Yes. Or is it? Not another ship, either way. This old faithful isle. 
might have a skeleton shoot at us in a minute with a cannon. We'll see. Tell ya. Nope. This one's a maybe. Oh, good shot. Not taking on water though. Seem to hit the rowboat more than anything. Try. Where's it gone? There it is. Dead ahead. Perfect. Now, let's see about a park job. I'm going to raise the sail a bit, slow us down. how close to this jetty I can bring us. I'm definitely going to mess this up now because people are watching. Mm, too much, too much, too much, too much. I forgot how manoeuvrable these ships are. Eh, definitely not my finest work. I can make that. Nope, got my feet wet. Oh well. Right, so what have we got? We've got a fish that needs cooking. Come on, why can't I get to the surface? There we go. So we'll cook that fish off, sell him, and then maybe we'll call it a day. Don't need to cook the snake. Delightful. Slightly disappointed no other players came along to have a fight, to be honest, but such is the fearsome reputation of Sea Dad, one can only assume. I keep thinking about that skeleton ship. I swear if the anchor hadn't gone down, we could have done that. But alas, here we go. And that's a cooked plenty fin. Oops. Oh, nailed it. Here's Emmerich of the Hunter's Call. And he'll buy any old shit. Except the coconut, he won't buy the coconut. That was my first ever Amber Plenty Fin. Great fun. There you go, I got to show you something new. Anyway, new to me. But still. Tell you what, just because I feel like... I feel like Ian would appreciate this. If, uh, if he were around, I'm going to show you what happens. If you eat a bunch of leeches and earthworms. There you go, you are of course sick. And if we just get the old bucket out. Come on, let's have another one. I see our vision's gone blurry because it's made us sick. Bucket full of sick. Have this, Emmerich. 
thanks for all the money, and thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, there are loads more from Eurogamer for you to watch. Uh, some of them on Sea of Thieves, at least. Um, so do give one of those a click. Do like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss anything else from Eurogamer. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching. Do catch us while we're out at E3. And don't tell anybody I was playing Sea of Thieves on the channel again. Goodbye!